Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. Do you pay capital gains tax? At closing, when you sell a property, capital gains tax may be due on the profit you make from the sale. The tax is calculated based on the difference between the property's purchase price and its selling price. However, whether you pay this tax at the closing of the sale is not straightforward. And in the United States, capital gains tax is typically paid when you file your annual tax return. This means you do not usually pay the tax at the closing of the property sale. The IRS requires you to report the capital gain or loss on Schedule D of your tax return. There are certain exemptions and exclusions that may apply, such as the primary residence exclusion. If you have lived in the property as your main home for at least two of the last five years, you may exclude up to $250,000 of the gain if you are single, or $500,000 if married filing jointly. Denon, it's essential to keep accurate records of your property's purchase price, any improvements made, and the selling price. These records help in calculating your capital gain or loss accurately. If you are selling an investment property, different rules may apply. Investment properties do not qualify for the primary residence exclusion, and you may be subject to depreciation recapture. And consulting a tax professional can provide personalized advice based on your specific situation. They can help you understand your tax obligations and any potential strategies to minimize your tax liability. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.